So, um, this video is kind of an update of a video I did a while back, and this is part of the series I like to call, uh, What Would They Think? Now, for those of you who have just found me on Vlare TV, uh, what would they think is basically what I talk about, instead of two characters fighting, what would it be like, and what would these two characters think of one another? Um... And basically, this is an update of a version I uh, one of a video of one of that segment I once thought of. And that's basically Vader meeting Ku Kuvira from Legend of Korra. And you may be thinking, there's no way Vader and Kuvira would have anything in common. Well, I kind of think they would. I think they would have a lot in common. Now, keep in mind, this is not a romantic uh, connection. This is more of a this would be more of a business connection. Um, so yeah. Let's say, like, the Empire arrived on the Four Nations and encountered the Earth Empire. Obviously, Vader would, you know, the Emperor would be like, hey, if they, if, if, you know, I, I'll, we'll fight them and win, but if they decide to join us, you know, we could use an extension of them, and those benders seem really cool, so Vader, go be nice. So let's say, like, the Earth Empire is curious of joining the Imperial Empire, and, you know, the Galactic Empire, why do I keep saying Imperial? Um, the Galactic Empire, and is like, yeah, you know, we can we can learn so much from you if you help us bring peace to the, you know, a peace to the four nations under the banner of the Earth Empire. So, um, that's how I think it would go, is that Ve Kuvira's not an idiot. If, like, she would look at the idea of a race of beings coming down from the stars in ships and have mastered space travel, there's no way she'd win. Like, there's no way, like, if she fought them while at the same time trying to bring order to the Earth uh, to the Earth Kingdom, yeah, it would be, it wouldn't be in her best interest. So, uh, Kuvira, so Kuvira, I think, would ally herself with the Galactic Empire. So, what would they get, you know, what would the, um, what would the two factions think of one another? Now the more I think about it, this is probably going to be more or less Vader and Kuvira working together and more the Galactic and Earth Empire learning from one another. But yeah, Vader, I think, would kind of understand Kuvira's kind of like rigid sense of duty as well as, um, you know, they rule the galaxy. They have, you know, they, you know, want to rule um, and uh, peace through tyranny. You know, peace through force is the only thing they understand. And anyone who is opposed to that order is to be struck down. So I think uh, Vader would kind of empathize. I think Vader would agree with that. And I think Kuvira would really respect Vader's methods. Like, she would watch Vader, like, choke somebody out and just be like, yeah, you're totally in the right, dude. You are, you know, I, I'm like that, too. If someone doesn't, if I don't, if someone doesn't agree with me, I basically threaten them into submission. So that's how I think it would go. I think Vader would also, I think Vader would also kind of agree with Kuvira and empathize with her on, you know, being cast out and left, you know, left alone. While she wasn't a slave, she was basically, you know, she was an orphan who was taken pity on. Um, so Vader, I think, would kind of um, empathize with that. Is like, you know, um, I was, you know, I was treated. I was born as a slave, but I knew my mother. Uh, but at the same time, I lost her, and you never even knew your parents. And the one mother who did, who did, who you did know. Um, your adopted mother and your, by extension, most of your fa of adopted family turned on you. They basically all, um, they, um, uh, they also, you know, they basically turned on you, so I can sympathize with that because the Jedi Order turned on me. You know, the Jedi Order turned on me, and hence they turned on the Republic, and, you know, that's why Palpatine and I created the Empire. I think that's how it would probably, like, Vader would kind of, like, rationalize that, uh, rationalize it in a way. Um, as for shared technology, I think it'd be kind of fun to see, like, Earth Kingdom, uh, Earth, like, the Earth Kingdom using, like, AT-ATs and ATSTs. Like, could you imagine that? And also, could you imagine, like, I have no doubt in my mind that Vader would employ Earthbenders into the, uh, into the Galactic Empire, um, battalions. Like, he would create stormtroopers. He would make, like, a, like, er he would create Earth Troopers, um, or something of that degree, like, groups of metal benders and earth benders who would be like, um, who would be serving the Empire, and also, like, at, more or less, I think they would be like death troopers. I think they would be like an upgraded version of death troopers, 
or they'd be used as Terra. Better put, I think Vader and the Emperor and the Empire in general would probably put these guys as terraformers. I think, he, yeah, in, if there's a planet that needs um, some uh, an imperial uh, establishment but can't find the right place to put it, call down some st some earth troopers or stone troopers or whatever you want to call them, and they would terraform the planet to the Empire's liking so they can put an imperial establishment there. Um, rebels dealing with uh, rebels uh, stuck in a place where we can't bomb them out or get troops there. Call in the troop, the Earth Troopers, and they'll t they'll bury them alive. Yeah, don't think for a second that you know Vader wouldn't look at Earth, you know Earth King, you know Earth Empire soldiers and go, I don't need those. He wouldn't think that for a second. He'd be like, How many of those can we take? <laughs> How many of those can we turn into stormtroopers? And likewise, you know, Kuvira would look at the weaponry that Vader and the Galactic Empire would bring, and um, I think she'd want to have that. Like, she would want to have the weapons and the armor that um, the, Earth, the the Galactic Empire can pr provide. Like, um, the uh, the blasters for her non-bending armor troops, as well as I could see, like, new Mo like Earth Kingdom Stormtrooper uh, uh, regalia. Um, I could even see, like, she would try to copy, like, the Moff, uh, like, the Moff and Imperial uniforms, um, just of, like, because I see, like, she would look at the Galactic Empire in general, and just look at it and go, this is what I want my Earth, the Earth Empire to be. This is everything I want my, uh, my Empire to be, and Vader and the Galactic Empire are going to help me with that. So that's how I kind of see that, uh, this working out, is, like, the Empire, uh, you know, the Galactic Empire would be, like, a new kind of, like, basis for Kuvira to form the Empire, you know, her Empire out of it. And obviously she'd be swapping a lot of, like, resources as well as troops of the Galactic Empire in exchange for weapons and armaments and, you know, new troops. Ob you know, obviously I could see Kuvira walking around with a pair of Death Troopers on you know, flanking each of her sides. Um, as she's carrying out her her uh, daily ba her daily routine, and Vader would probably keep a, a couple er metal benders at each of his side, but I also see that Vader would have a lot of respect for Kuvira, and Kuvira would probably revere Vader, and by extension the Emperor. Um, I think she would revere that kind of level of control they have, that level of power, and the and the will to use that fear to establish that order. Um, I think also Vader, when Kuvira tells him, look, we had a, you know, my adopted mother, Sue, basically had a chance to rectify the, uh, you know, the fault, uh, the falls of the Earth Kingdom by coming in there, but she decided to puss out, and Vader would be like, yeah, the, the Republic failed us during the Clone Wars, so that's why my master chose to reorganize it as an empire. There you go. Yeah, they, these two, these two factions would definitely get along. Just, it'd be terrifying. Just straight up terrifying, wouldn't it? But anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of, um, the Earth Empire and the Galactic Empire? What would they think of each other, and how do you think that relationship would go? Just comment below, let me know, and won't, don't forget to uh, follow me here on Vlare if you're watching this, and also if you're watching this on YouTube, because I will be posting this later on YouTube, um, don't forget to subscribe to... Uh, don't forget to follow me on Vlare TV. I'll leave a link below because, yeah, we are, you know, the YouTube channel is kind of uh, uh, going to be null and void soon, so keep that in mind. So once again, just to stress, there will be a link below to my to my account on Vlare because YouTube is fucked. Anyway, so once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.